Hobby Hermit. And uh, everything's falling out of my brain. <laughs> Sorry for the audio in this. Uh, I'm going to be recording the audio with this camera that I have. So you'll just have to bear with me, you know, turn your volume up. So sorry about that. Um, but I've been wanting to do videos like this for a while. Uh, my mom, she taught me how to do a lot of things in life. And I've been wanting to record little videos about how to do all kinds of stuff. Believe it or not, from stuff like just brushing your teeth to how to fold a fitted sheet. And recently, my mom has been forgetting what she has taught me. Uh, old age and Alzheimer's and whatnot. So I've, I've decided, you know what? Now's the time to start recording these things. And I thought, why not put them out there for everyone out there? And hopefully it can help someone else. So yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm going to, in this video, the first video I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to fold a fitted sheet. And it's really, really easy. It's a whole lot easier than you might think. And it's just, basically it's a three-step process. And there's not much to it. And I'm just going to sit down and show you all how, how I do this. So here we go. Okay, so first of all, you take your sheet and it's, you know, it's a great big lump, it's a great big ball, you get it out of your dryer, and it's this great big mass, this mess, and all you gotta do is just basically untangle it. And I try to, you know, you can, you can just, basically you're gonna try to lay it flat, whether that's on a bed, on you know, a hard surface or whatnot, but basically you, you don't have to lay it on anything that might make it easier. I usually stand up and hold it and I'll, I'll show you how I do that in a minute. But basically you're just going to untangle it. So, you know, this is well and untangled. It's already been folded and put away. I, I did it for the thing, but okay, I'll show you it next. Okay, so now the way I usually untangle it, you know, it's this great big ball. And the way I usually do it is I usually just tangle, untangle it in the air like this. And what you want to do is, you see how it has these pockets, you know, right in there? Well, this, this is a fitted sheet and they have the edges sewn together. And I just put my hands right in the corner of these pockets here. So I don't know what the camera's catching. I'll try I'll try to uh, do like a zoom in if this doesn't get it good enough, but I try to put my hands in the corner of these pockets and I just kind of shake it out like this. See? And I just shake it out. I try to keep it from touching the floor. If it touches the floor, it's fine. If it touches, you know, Usually just brushes on the floor. If it touches the bed, it's fine, you know. But that's usually why I try to do it over a bed, because it'll end up touching the floor if it doesn't touch the bed. So, even though the bed's a lot closer. And so, now, the next thing I do, after untangling it, is I just take my hands and I put them in the very corners of these pockets here. See? And then, I go ahead and I just put the two corners, the very two tips, of these pockets and I put them together like that. And I try to line up the seams like that. And I don't know what the camera is catching. Hopefully the camera is getting this. This this whole folding process, once it gets going, you know, it's it's kind of like instantly it's done. So <laughs> basically it's just shake it and it's finished. But yeah, uh, so I do that. And I just run along the edges here. See, this is the this is the fitted part where it's all kind of wrinkled up from the elastic. So I make sure that the elastic pieces are together, you know, as much as possible. And I make sure that the elastic pieces are together. And I make sure that they're together. 
And I always run down to the edge here. See, it always has this great big hangover from, you know, that's like the inside. Well, I just reach my hand up in here and I turn it out like that. So, and, and then I do the exact same th seam thing with the other one. I go ahead and I put the two tips together and I just run each seam along each other. I put it together like that. And there you go. There's basically step one. You know, other than shaking it out. Step one is all over and done with. And there's just two more steps after that. So... This is rather difficult. I've never had to explain this before. Uh, and it's pretty hard to explain something that you just automatically do. <laughs> so I never thought of actually having to put this into words. I just so automatically and quickly and easily do it. So uh, it's, it's rather, it's a little difficult trying to explain this, but here's the zoomed in view. Basically, what I do is I untangle the sheet as best I can. And hopefully I'll be able to see a little bit of what the camera is catching. Okay, and what I automatically do is, okay, now this this is the reverse side of the sheet. This is the side of the sheet where you can see all the sewing. Oops, sorry. This is the side of the sheet where you can see all the sewing. And this is the outside of the sheet, you know, the good side, where you can't see any of the sewing. It's like it's all hidden. So what I do is I take my hand and I put it, I put my, my longest finger, which is my middle finger, I put it right at the very tip of the sheet on the outside and I turn it inside out so that the sheet is essentially inside out. And then to find the other other edge I usually just grab the elastic here and I run my fingers along the elastic until, oh look, I found another fitted part of the material. So I go ahead and now, with this one, I try to put my hand, I'll try to put my hands around the camera. I try to put my hand, I, I do the same thing, but with my right hand, but now this time I'm going to put this hand on the outside of the sheet, on the nice part of the sheet, not the inside. See? Yeah, just like that. See? Just like the other one. And now I just put the two tips together, and I run the seams along each other. And then there's, see this little like, it's like a great big lump right here where all the four pieces of fabric come together and fold over. It's a great big lump. I just put those two big old lumps together. And I know I'm not bringing it very close, but. And I just pinch those two lumps between my fingers. And then I take my other hand and I just run my other hand along the seam of the sheet. You know, so that you get a good... And, you know, I, I pull it tight. You know, I pull it tight. But then I go ahead and I just run my hand along the edge of the, the, uh, the sheet. And I just... Here we go. Most of the time I'm doing this so fast. Because, you know, you don't want to do the laundry or fold it or put it away. So I'm, I'm just... I'm never even thinking about what I'm doing. So this is... Uh, this is very different having to stop myself and say, okay, what am I doing? <laughs> and then having to explain it for my mom and an audience. <laughs> it's rather, gives you a bit of stage fright, I'll tell you that. So, okay, now I've come upon the other part of the fitted sheet. And what I was call it, talking about, the bulbous part, oop, well, it was. See, what the sheet usually does is that it's still like all unfolded. See here, and it's still like dripping over the edge of itself sort of here. So I turn that inside, what is now inside the sheet. And now that I've found another bit, see I put the two points together and I just run the two seams along each other until I hit the end of it and then I pinch it right there. And then I just run my hand along the rest of it till I hit the end of the sheet there. See? 
So hopefully this will help. That's that's the close up version of you know the zoomed in uh, visuals of what I just did. So <laughs> so okay. So now on to step two. Okay, so now we have this nicely divided in half sheet. You know, it's it's all divided in half. It's it's in a lump. So what you need to do is you need to take it and just kind of lay it out on your bed, lay it out on the floor, whatever, wherever you're folding your sheet, lay it out. And that's basically the next step. And these these fitted edges will automatically start curling around and you want to go with that. That's the whole point. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and where the sewing is, you're going to put your hand up underneath the sewing, you know, and maybe, maybe the camera will catch it a bit better over here. I really need a cinematographer. So <laughs> this is hard having to do it myself and not being able to see myself on camera. So uh, here, let me... Uh, how much is this? Yeah, it's kind of catching it. So, okay, so what you want to do is you want to run your hand right along the seam again. And I'll bring this in so you can see it better. So you want to put your arm up in there and you want to put your hand right at the tip of that seam and you just kind of run it along and that makes it nice and neat. And you do that for the top part here. And you want to bring it down about as far as the seam is long. And that will, sorry, I know I shouldn't cross over camera like that, but so, see? So you're going to have this little like bunch right here and you just fold it over like that. So, and that's, that's literally step two. <laughs> Um, I'll do what I can showing the zoomed in version of that now. Okay, so you got your nice folded together sheet now. So what you want to do is you want to, you know, lay it out like I showed you. But here is the zoomed in version of what I was doing. I was literally, if you can see the seam right here, yeah, okay, see? You can see the seam running along there. I literally take my fingers and I put it where, right where that seam is, right where that seam is, and I literally fold it over my arm like that, and then now where the tip of this seam is, where, where the tip of this seam is, that's where you're going to have, you know, your, uh, the tip, you know, where your fold is going to be. So, it's like that. And, and the thing just basically folds itself over like that anyway. So, however deep your sheet is, that's basically how big your fold is going to be. And the exact same thing happens with the long side. So, and your sheet doesn't have to be, you know, rectangular like this, you know, like mine is. Some people's sheets are going to be very square. Some people's sheets are going to be, you know, really, you know, who knows what shape, but still, if you have a fitted sheet, this should apply to even an octagon. So, <laughs> but as you can see, you're going to have this kind of like chunk of fabric here where these two folds, you know, overlap. And all you got to do is just lay it to one side. You can lay it to the short side. You can lay it to the long side. It doesn't matter. But yeah. And that, that's what I was talking about at the end of that last clip. This extra bit of fabric. So there we go. So yeah, on to step three.
Okay, so you have this nice flat fitted sheet, you know, or at least as flat and as neat as it's going to get. And this step, step number three, is going to be the easiest, you know, arguably, out of all of them. And now there's a couple of ways you can do this. This is literally, step three is just folding the sheet. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, you can go ahead and take this part and you can fold it over like that. if you want and then go ahead and start just literally essentially folding it over again and again and again till it's all nice and folded up or And I'm sorry about constantly crossing over the camera here. That's that's like a great big film school full film school faux pas. Never never put your back to the camera and never cross in front of it. But I don't have any room behind the camera, so <laughs> the back of my brain saying you're doing it wrong, and I'm just like, oh screw you. <sighs> anyway, so okay, now the other thing you can do is you can take the short end here, and I'll show you at least uh, the short method. Uh, on the zoom in, but you just take the short end and you start folding it over. And either way is correct, either way is fine, it doesn't matter. And if the thing hangs off the end of the bed like mine did, that's fine, you can just see, fold it like that. And there you go, and you're always going to have like a little tail, that's no big deal. But then after that, you just go ahead and you fold it. And it's a nice fitted sheet. And you never would have been able to tell in a million years that it was the fitted sheet and not the, the top sheet. So, which, you know, can make things really good or really bad. Uh, one of the ways to tell that the top sheet is the top sheet is to fold it so that the very top of the sheet here, see the design? And you know how the top sheet, the one that covers you, uh, is usually, has this nice, you know, kind of like a, it's a fold over, like a blanket usually has at the very top of the sheet. You fold it so that this is on the outside, and you can, that way you can distinguish this sheet from the fitted sheet. You know, that doesn't always work, but, you know, As often as you can, I always try to fold this top sheet so that this part is, you know, out there on display and so you can tell the difference between the top sheet and the fitted sheet. So, um, and you can't see that too well on camera here, but there, can you see that now? The top part of this flat sheet and how it's kind of folded over and has a nice little design. If, if you put that on the outside, then, you know, then you can tell this one from the fitted, so. And then you can just put these things away, and if you really want to fold them up tight, you can always fold them up like that, you know. You can fold them up as tight as you want. You can fold them into a square if you're, if you're really going packing, really camping or whatever. There. <laughs> that, this usually takes a rubber band putting, putting it trying to make it that tight and square but yeah I like them nice and flat and big and oop, easily fitable into the cabinet <laughs> so but there we go that's how you fold a fitted sheet and I'll show you the zoom in of uh, the last little part that I did here just in case and then um, I'll give you a tip or two afterwards so Okay, so now this is just basically the zoomed in version. So all you got to do now at, for step number three is just take this and fold it over. And that's really all there is to it. Just fold it over.
And I'm just going to be showing it on this short one. I'm not going to be showing it the long way because there's just no room at the time. But, yep, just fold it over. There we go. And there you go. You have your nice fitted sheet and nice and flat and everything. And it's all square and ready to be put in the cupboard or cabinet or wherever. <laughs> Well, uh, I almost said hello. I'm so used to doing that. Uh, well, that's it for how to fold a fitted sheet. And uh, I hope everyone has learned how to quickly and easily fold a fitted sheet. If you have any questions, if you're lost, if you're still struggling with it, just leave a comment below, leave a message below, and let me know. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, and as for the extra tips and whatnot... Let me see. Now, if you're having a hard time, if, if your sheet is just a great big mess, a great big mass, you know, just a great, it's a, just a ball of fabric, and you're having a hard time finding the edge, yeah, finding the edge, find, finding the edge, finding the pockets, finding where it's all, you know, the elastic is, where it's sewn together. Uh, that's why I suggested laying it out on a, you know, on a blanket, on a bed, on the floor, on anything at all. Just, just, you know, even just pick it up at any point and just shake it out. Just shake it out, you know, like Taylor Swift. Just shake it out, shake it out as best you can. And eventually you should be able to find uh, a pocket, a seam, uh, where the elastic is. Now, I know that people will take, like... They'll go, instead of taking the two ends, like this, they'll go and they'll find, like, the kitty corner end. And you'll end up having this one pocket hanging in the middle, and you'll try to fold together the two uh, diagonal ends. The two, I don't know what the camera's catching, but the two kitty corner ends. Uh, I'm not really going to show any visuals for this, I'm sorry. But, so, what you want to do is, once you find one pocket, to make sure that you don't get the kitty corner. Make sure you don't... You, you find the pocket or just find the elastic and run your fingers along the elastic until you find a pocket. And then the second you find that pocket, run your fingers along the elastic until you find another pocket. Now, if you have to run your fingers along the elastic for a while, that means that you've found more than likely the long part of the sheet. If you run your fingers along the elastic for a short amount of time and find a pocket, then that means that you've found the short part of the sheet. Now... When it comes to a sheet like this that I have right now, which is more square, which I think uh, I think queen and double size beds have, double size beds especially, uh, or full beds, they're calling them full beds nowadays. Uh, that means that you're you're not going to have too much trouble about which end you fold. But what I try to do is I try to find out where all my pockets are. And then I go ahead and I try to figure out, basically just in wingspan alone, just, just in stretching it out like this, where, you know, if, if I can hold it between my two arms, and I'm, I'm about five feet, you know, so I'm about five foot five. So basically you can, you can estimate my, my arm length via that if you're mathematical, or at least biologically mathematical. Um... So, when I stretch my arms out like this, the short part of the sheet, even on a queen size bed, kind of fits between my two arms, my two outstretched arms. Now, if I try to find the long length of the sheet, it's not going to fit between my two outstretched arms. There's going to be a lot of sag. There's going to be... It's going to look like this. So, yeah, and I don't know what the camera's catching, but it's, it's going to sag like this. And this is the long side of the sheet, even though the sheet is rather square. And so then I have a choice. Do I want to put the two long pockets together? And you put them together exactly like I showed you, with the two inside seams together. Or do I want to put the two 
short seams together. And that's not really going to change how you fold the sheet. It's just going to, it might change, you know, I wanted to fold it short way, you know, with a million uh, fold overs versus the long way. I had put, uh, I had put it together in a certain way, like all the long seams together for this video instead of all the short seams. I don't know what you want to call it. I've never had to put terminology to this either. This was just something that my mom just showed me and I learned it and there was no language, no words to really speak, you know. It was just a real fast and easy thing that I learned and so trying to explain all this stuff and what I've also figured out on my own and added to it, which is figuring out the ends, how to find the pocket. Which she also showed me, but that one, she showed me far quicker. She didn't sit down and, okay, this is how you do it. That one, it was like, well, this is, this is how you do it, and she moved on. <laughs> so, so this one I had to figure it out again on my own, because, you know, I was a kid and I'd forgotten. So, yeah, and, and I'm not explaining this too well, <laughs> but I do it all the time. So, and I just automatically do it. I don't, don't put any thought to it. So, uh, so explaining this is rather difficult. But I hope you get the gist of it. <laughs> Basically, you just, you, you know, you take your sheet from the balled up mess that it is. You shake it out a little bit. You try to find the elastic or a seam. And once you, once you find the elastic, you run along until you find a seam. If you find a seam, then that's fantastic then you have your first pocket and all you got to do is run your fingers along the elastic and find another seam. And that's really all it is. Just running your fingers along the elastic, finding another seam. And that will actually keep you from having a seam in the middle, usually, that you're like, how did this happen? I just folded it diagonally. This doesn't work for me, the diagonal fold. Because this is, this is a rather rectangle or square fold. So just follow along the elastic to find your pockets and that should keep you from having you know say a seam in the middle here and having your hands in two other seams because if you have if you have a pocket or a seam in the middle then that means that you just got <laughs> you just got your two diagonal pockets and you need to follow along your elastic and go back to that seam that's sitting there in the middle and now you'll be able to fold your sheet so I hope that explained it I know what I mean but putting it into words I've never had to do that before in my life so and I know that I set up the camera to only see me from you know my waist up so I don't know how much of this the camera is catching but I hope my words are doing good enough if you want a better explanation especially if you want better visuals <laughs> Let me know and I will give it to you, but for right now, no one watches my channel, so I'm not going to worry about even making another video unless, unless I get comments, unless I get likes. You know, I have to get at least 10 to 20 likes before I'll even, you know, consider, you know, or at least five people have to comment and say, please show better visuals. <laughs> and then say what kind of visuals you want. So, but yeah. There you go. I mean, no one watches this channel, so I'm not worried about it at the moment. But if everyone starts watching, then leave a comment, you know, like, subscribe, whatever. But, you know, let me know if you want better visuals. Let me know if you want me to explain it better. And let me know any problems that you're having with this so that I can actually help you. Because <laughs> for me, this is the easiest thing in the world. And for someone to have trouble with this is like having trouble with breathing. It's like, really? Oh dear, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, so if you need help, just let me know, and I'll I'll try to do my best to help you out, uh, and I'll try to do my best to put into words what has just been as automatic as breathing air for me. So yeah, um, so thank you for watching this. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for bearing with me and trying to inadvertently become a teacher in how to fold. And uh, what was my usual sign off. I always remember Mr. Rogers. It's Nanu Nanu, live long and prosper. Uh, remember laughter and happiness save lives. And remember what Mr. Rogers said. And yes, I short form this all the time, but it's you I like. It's every part of you. It's your soul. It's your core. It's your being. It's your personality. It's you. I love you. Bye.